Hey family, welcome back for another moment of truth. In today's episode, we're talking about how to eat no for breakfast to do the impossible. And of course, this is inspired by Madam VP Kamala Harris because she stated that she eats no for breakfast. And this is the attitude that got her to the VP position, which is something that we can all agree was nearly impossible to do, right? So today we're going to break down how to adopt this same attitude so we can eat no for breakfast and do the impossible in our own lives because you can do the impossible too. So first, okay, the first way to eat no is to get comfortable with hearing the word no. Did you see that coming? You didn't see that coming, did you? Because let's face it, the last thing we want to do is find ourselves on the other side of someone's no, right? Of course, right? We do everything in our power to protect ourselves from it because we literally turn the word no into this big scary monster. But in actuality, you're hurting yourself more than you're helping yourself because you're not allowing, you know, the, the room for flexibility so you can learn and grow. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if you're ready to grow in any area of your life, if you're ready to, to grow in your career, you have to stop dodging no. I'm pausing, I'm pausing right there on purpose so you can really hear that and let that sink in. You have to stop dodging the word no. The truth is hearing no is inevitable. Everyone is going to hear no. Everyone has already heard the word no. And you're going to hear it at least a thousand times in your lifetime. We all have a certain number of no's that we need to get through before we get to our yes. And since there is no way for you to know what that number is, the best thing you could do is to keep moving forward past the no. So when you hear a no, take that next step so you can move past it. All right. Now, secondly, don't use no as a measuring tool. When we hear the word no, it's used, I usually our first thought is, I'm not good enough because we're allowing self-doubt to control the narrative in our mind. And when this happens, no turns into a measuring stick for our capacity. And this mindset makes no personal. And it's not personal. It's directional. It doesn't give or take away the value that you have to offer when you hear the word no. When you when someone tells you no, you have no idea what the circumstances that is surrounding them giving you the answer no. And, and them telling you no is probably meant to like point you in a different direction. So the circumstances behind the no given has nothing to do with your abilities or your capacity, which brings me to number three. Focus on progress, not perfection. I know like anyone else, it's never easy to hear the word no, especially when you have worked so hard at your craft, right? It is not easy to hear the word no, but I encourage you to never focus on perfecting your craft to avoid hearing no, but focus on the progress you made to get to that no. In order to hear no in that moment, you had to be bold, you had to be brave and you had to exude some confidence. And this is really important to recognize because perfection keeps you from taking action. And then also too, you guys, we don't give ourselves enough credit. We don't give ourselves enough credit of going through the process because there's so many people who never go through the process in order to get to their yes, because they're stuck in fear. But when you have gone through the process and you have been bold and you have been brave and you exuded the confidence that was needed to hear that no, now you don't have to tap into those same resources to make the next scary move. Because let me tell you something, that no is not going to be the last no that you hear. The, 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 the way that your, your voice shook a little bit when that person on the other end said, hello, the way your fingers shook when you was typing out that email, the butterflies that was in your stomach when you tried to tell somebody your story, like those things are going to happen again. 
But because you know how to tap into your resources to be bold, to be brave, and be confident, you know how to do it again for the next scary move. But no matter how long it takes to get you to your yes, please understand that each no that you hear doesn't erase the progress that you made to get to that point. So whenever you can, every time, celebrate your no. Celebrate each no that you receive because it's another milestone that you just achieved. And that's worth celebrating. So you're probably thinking, <clears throat> and you don't want to admit it, but I'm going to go ahead and say it for you. All you want is just a comfortable year. Key, that's all I want. 2020 was such a mind fuck that all I want to do is just have some comfort in my life and get through this year with ease. And not have anything else major happen in my life, in any area of my life for that matter. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with being comfortable. There's nothing wrong with being content. But don't use the pandemic as an excuse to stay comfortable when you're being called to do more. We were faced with these same uncertainties before the pandemic even happened. And the same will hold true once this pandemic is no longer a thing. There's still going to be uncertainties there. But fortunately, the pandemic did not invalidate your purpose. So the plans that you had pre-pandemic for building the life that you want, the life that's worthy of your pursuit, the life that you were designed for, you can still pursue that plan, the reality for most people is that they are too afraid to chase their goals because, the, because of the fear of hearing the word no. And we should take a lesson from Madam VP's Harris book and learn how to eat no for breakfast. And you guys, and let me just say this, that this episode is not just for you. It's for me too. Let me tell you a real life moment. Just literally the other day. I was give. I had to give myself a really, really hard talking to because I'm like, Key, why are you procrastinating or sending out these corporate pitches? Like, why are you, why are you procrastinating? Because I noticed that I was falling into this mode of being busy instead of being, you know, purposeful with my intentional moves. Because right now I have an apprentice working for me. And I have another assistant that's on call. So the so the admin work, I can literally pass that off to someone else. But I'm doing it myself. So I'm, I'm, I'm recognizing this. I'm asking myself, Key, why are, you, why are you procrastinating? And I was procrastinating because I was allowing fear to take over. Because I was afraid of hearing the word no. Which is another reason why I wanted to do, you know, this, this podcast episode. Because I know you guys are going through it too. So I had to talk to myself and I had to say, like, Keisha, why is the person on the other end of that phone scarier than your mother's husband who sexually abused you for eight years? What makes that person more scarier? What makes that rejection email that you will get, because it's inevitable, what makes that rejection email that you will get scarier than walking past game bangers as you walk to school in the projects? What makes that scarier? So I literally had to talk to myself. And once I broke it down and was able to pull, you know, or tap into my, you know, my braveness from what I've been through using my pain for purpose. It no longer became scary. It no longer became scary. I went from having eight companies on my list to 34 companies on my list. Your girl's about to get it done. And you can too. So come back and listen to this episode as many times as you need to. So you can eat no for breakfast. So you can do what other people are telling you is impossible to do. Because if it's purpose driven, it's not impossible. It's definitely possible. So family, thank you so much for having another moment of truth with me. Please share this episode across all your social media platforms. Don't forget to click the join community link that's in the show notes so we can stay connected and continue the conversation. And until next time, always remember that you are enough and your truth is beautiful. Bye.